which is the, let's say, 26th. Starting here, that's going to be a varsity game only starting at 6 o'clock. All right. Got a couple minutes left here. The Lady Dragons have had one game in so far. They played Plymouth um, on Thursday night. They were actually up 2-0 at halftime, and second half was a little rough for them, ended up with a 5-2 loss. Um, it looks like the Lady Tigers have had one game in so far. They played West Lafayette, and they had a loss of uh, 7-3. to So this will kind of be an interesting game. Um, we'll see what happens. Second game for both teams. Got lots of games right here. It's actually a gorgeous day out here. We got about 73 degrees. Perfect soccer weather. Humidity's low. And the teams are taking the field, and we'll get national anthem done and some lineups, and then we'll be going. We'll also probably talk about the boys' game that we had a little bit earlier. Yes, qu quite a good game for the boys. Yeah. They, Our look, bo they look sharp. Boys came out on top today, 4-1, um, against uh, Oak Hill. And JV, I think, won 4-0. Four, four 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 Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, okay. we ask you So right now, we'll General honor General our flag with the national anthem. All right, now we'll get the starting lineups. For the Northwestern Tigers, we've got number one, Emma O'Dell. Number seven, Olivia Lehman. Number nine, Joan Easter. Number 12, Rebecca Lagoni. Number 13, Madison Baxter. Number 16, Hope Braun. Number 18, Caitlin Lagoni. Number 21, Kate Miller. Number 24, Sarah Smith. Number 25, Ashlyn Johnson. And number 26, Ashlyn Markley. And in the goal, let's see. Oh, that was number 18. All right, for the Dragons. Number two, Hannah Trump. Number three, Parker Boffman. Number six, Lauren McLaughlin. Number nine, Sydney Shepard. Number 11, Lauren Hampton. Number 13, 14, Peyton Betts. Number 16, Allison Zahm. Number 18, Morgan Dunlap. Number 19, Lizzie Edmonds. Number 20, Madeline Vanderwill. And number in the goal, number 70, Alyssa Poisel. All right. All right, got 40 minutes on the clock. Teams are in for their final huddle. Coach Joe would like to see more movement out of the girls today. That's what he told us. All right, we'll see if they can deliver for him. Being at home should give them a little more confidence. And I hope so. It'll be nice to play on their home field. Yeah. We do have one freshman out there starting, Lauren McLaughlin. Got kind of a mix of sophomores, juniors, and seniors. I'm curious to see how they can get that ball and take it, 
take it today. Looks like uh, Northwestern's going to start out with the ball. Looks like they're planning on playing it back. See if Argus can run a press or if they're kind of let them play in the back a little bit. I'd like to see them. The boys were really pressing up today, and I like that. I'd like to see the girls do the same. Yep. Although Samantha and I were discussing the difference between boys and girls play. Yeah. Boys are just a little more aggressive sometimes. I'm a girl. I can admit that. <laughs> it looks like we had a two-woman <coughs> press. Now the rest and they're of the slowly pushing up. up, yeah. Now we're pressing hard. Yep, Sydney Shepard over on the far side. Oh, stripped by Lauren McLaughlin. Give me a minute to get numbers here. Oh, that was Shepard, too. Of course, they all have ponytails. That's Girls are kind of harder to tell sometimes. Yeah, I noticed that in the lineup. A lot of them have the same half hairstyle. The, and half the time their uh, hair blocks their number. That always – oh, they've got Lauren McLaughlin up. Okay. Peyton Betts, a senior defender. Peyton does a really good job controlling the ball, and she really. uses her body really well. Yes, very strong. Yeah. Push her to the sidelines. Tried to force the mistake, didn't get it. Yep, offsides. The beginning of the season, you always see all the offsides. Oh, yeah. Offsides. As they remember, oh, I got to watch the line. And some of it's timing, too. they got to understand the people making the pass. Sometimes people hold it for two touches. Sometimes they mm -hmm. hold it for three or four, and you, you got to figure out who's going to make the pass and when to start your run. Yeah. Oh, beautiful ball. Played forward. Maddie Vanderwell with the ball. She's in. Stripped away. Stripped away. Defender stepped right in front of her corner kick. And she was trying to get that off the sideline and just didn't quite make it. All right, Argus going to have their first corner kick. We'll see what Vanderwill can do with it. Looks like we're going to start with a bunch. We called that bumblebee when they were little. <laughs> little swarm of bumblebees. Oh, pop that back out. Oh, Maddie. <laughs> oh, bad oh, Lauren. Pass. Yeah. Plays at the top of the box, intercepted. <laughs> a little help from the referee. He's part of the field. Lauren's looking for some help over there. <coughs> 16. Oh, she couldn't quite handle it. Ball rolls out. Quick. Parker Bachman. Good turn. Looks like we got to play into the box and across. Oh, great and job Hannah by Trump Hannah Trump. Stepped right in front of the keeper. Can we get a shot here? Yep. Oh. Lizzie Edmonds is about six foot one, so her long legs carry her really quickly across there. <laughs> yep. I like that aggression by Hannah Trump. She yeah. Uh, she could let the keeper have it, and she chose not to. She. She's yeah. She's very aggressive. She's always moving. I like that Boffman that's sticking with it there. Sometimes you don't see that with girls. You know, they lose it and they kind of give up. And Yeah, if, it, I, if you notice that Northwestern has been putting the balls out of bounds on that side when they've gotten any kind of pressure. Yeah, put a little pressure on them and they'll, they'll give it back. Allie's on with the ball. Lauren Hampton on the back, another senior. Uh, I do believe Lauren and Peyton, this is their, I want to say, third year defensively. I know second year starting defensively. Uh, there was another senior, Taylor Doddle. She actually had um, got hurt last year, and it was serious enough that she's not able to play her senior year. So <coughs> that was her other defender. So they had to bring up a couple uh, sophomore and I think freshmen back there. Oh, no, Morgan Dun Dunlap's back there too. I can't tell who's where. Got some good experience on the field, though. Yeah. Bit of a scrum. Margaret comes away. Yeah. Played to the corner. Defenders there. Oh, a pressure forced the mistake again. Yeah, they had a great first half the other night. Um, they were up 2 0 at halftime. Coach Joe told me that the other team 
the ball went through one of the defender's feet and one of the Plymouth girls was there. And I mean, it was just a, a great positioning by her. And But after that goal, they kind of shut down a little bit. So we'll look for some perseverance today to see if we can overcome some of that. And uh-oh, somebody's. Well, they, they call the 2-0 lead the most dangerous lead yeah. in soccer. And they, and they call it that for a reason because teams tend to start to relax and once they relax that first oh, yeah. goal goes in and then they get really defensive and they forget to sure. play the game they started with. Something happened. It looks like a bloody nose. Okay. Hopefully she'll be okay. Yeah, they get her head back. So okay, I'm hopefully get that taken nose. care of and get her back out there playing. Push. Foul on Western? Nope. I about said Oak Hill. That was our game earlier today. And me too. <laughs> She's through. Can she get there? Ooh. Oh, so close. Just intercepted by the keeper. <laughs> Throw in by Trump to McLaughlin. Good pressure leads to a mistake. Oh. <laughs> Just too much there for yeah. Trump to handle. Three defenders a right there on her. Yeah. So much fun to see these girls grow over the years. I've coached some of them when they were U9, U10, and it's great to see them just come out and use the skills they've been learning all along. Yeah, it's fun watching these kids grow up. <laughs> too fast. Yeah. Of course, being parents of kids that are juniors and seniors and freshmen, and we're we're at the end part of that. <laughs> yep. Phil knows. We're at the end of our kids. Your kids have all graduated. Oh, yeah. Phil Dean is here uh, taking care of business for us, making sure that we're uh, on track and online and streaming, and we've got Peyton Heckman on the camera. Good play to the sideline. <laughs> all Phil's daughters are gone. Great ball up to Trump. Defender stepped in. We're going to have a throw in. We got a sub coming in. Laura McLaughlin going out. And another freshman, Ariana Allen, coming in. Big throw towards the center. Argus oh, is sticking unlucky. with the pressure, and it's paying off for him. Dangerous. Dangerous play. Should be our ball. Yeah, indirect, yeah. indirect kick. Nice job, Morgan, staying with it. For all you who don't know, the uh, indirect kick means it has to be played by a second player in order for it to go into the goal and count as a goal. Oh. Not a bad idea, especially with girls that I can squeak through there and take a funky bounce. And, and well, Anytime you make the keeper play the ball, mm -hmm. things can happen. <coughs> the worst thing on, a, on something like that was be, would be a ball directly out of bounds. Yeah. Hey, if you're watching out there and you want us to give you a shout out, hit me up on text, hit Andy up on text. Hit Bill up on text. Send us a Facebook message. I'm not sure about our Twitter account right now. Well, I know we use that during basketball, but I'm not sure who had access to that. So give us a text. We'll give you a shout-out. Earlier today, we had one of our foreign exchange students on the boys' side, Pablo. His dad was watching from Spain. So it's really great to be able to offer that on Argus TV, on RTC TV 4. I tell you, I'm going to have that memorized. By <laughs> great play in the box there. Argus had a couple of good chances. <coughs> Vanderbilt using her body. A little toe poke on. Oh, nope. Too much. Of yeah. Um, Northwest too much. Northwestern's going to have to find a way to, to handle this Argus pressure. Argus They're really putting them under. Good ball. Not sure they were quite ready for it, but. Here 
Here comes the pressure again. Force the mistake. Just plays it all the way across the back to the keeper. We got Arion Allen coming up on the right side. Ooh, a little tap by Vanderwill. Saved her. Over to Allen. On up to Hannah Trump. Cuts inside. Beautiful pass to Maddie. And for the shot. Goal! Oh, great shot. And you know what? She I like to call it mustard, but she got enough on that one that it strung through. And here is our instant replay. New feature this year. We will be able to bring you all the goals in instant replay. Yes. Yeah, just, sure. just snuck it in that near post. Kept it on the ground, had enough on it. The keeper couldn't get down in time. Beautiful yeah. goal. Got Parker Boffman going out for the Dragons, and Madison Bark is coming in. Couple subs for the Tigers. Number six, Carmela. Kurtz, I think is what he said, and five Avery Roots. Okay, let's see if Argus can build that pressure up again. <coughs> <coughs> we got Trump running hard. <coughs> oh, 26, it was 26, Ashlyn Markley. She was the one, I think, that went out with the nosebleed. So good, she's back in the game. There's that pressure again by Argus, forcing those mistakes. Oh, yeah. Too deep. Back to the keeper. See if we see if we can get another one of them big punts out of her. Oh, yeah. Cross midfield nice in the air. Nope. Not quite. Almost. Tap back by Dunlap. And oh, big play the field. Here goes Barkus. Didn't have the speed for Defender was a bit quicker. Not as much pressure this time. Northwestern's able to get the ball worked on the field, but cleaned up by the goalkeeper. Oh. Got a player down for Argus. It's uh, Madison Vanderwill. I don't know if it's possibly that hamstring. It looks like she's yeah, wearing some she's, sort of a wrap. She's had that wrap for since summer. They did a scrimmage, I think, is when she uh, hurt that. That looks like Carly Miller. The Dragons, number 22, Carly yep, Miller. 22, Carly Miller. Looks like Emma Dunlap coming in. She's number 13, I think. And for the Tigers, we got number 12, Rebecca Lagoni back in. And then for the Dragons, number 13, Emma Dunlap. Emma Dunlap, another freshman. <coughs> Two Dunlap sisters out there today. <laughs> Another throw in for Argus, pushing the ball up the field. Pressure leads to another mistake. Got a three on four. Nice little cut there by Dunlap. Ooh. Nice on the defense there. I mean, she wasn't going to give up on that ball. No, she stayed with it. She in got it in Intensity. Ball played to the corner, cleaned up easily. Now I'll get Dunlap and Lauren Hampton. They're, they confuse me. <laughs> they look a lot alike out there. Oh. Well, the pressure leads to an Argus mistake. Nice body movement there and using the body. Oh, Morgan Dunlap just reaches in and pulls that ball back. Offside. Good eye by the ref there, offsides. Yep, looks like he indicated they came from an offside position. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand that. 
another assist by the referee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is part of the field. Yeah. Good interception. Loses it, though. And Trump with the pressure again. Madison Barker's coming across. I like her intensity today. Ali Zahm was a little step behind on that one. Western with the ball in the corner. Vargas cleans it up. Ooh, big shot. Field. Big shot way over. Get my field goal. <laughs> well, while they're bringing that in, we do have some changes at uh, RTC TV4. We are now Argus TV at R RTC TV4. Um, our website's changed a little bit. Um, the games are no longer posted on YouTube. But you will be able to view them. We have an app. You can go to the Apple Store and download that or the Google Store and download that. Um, there is a, on the Argus TV, we, not all of our, our events are live. So our school board meetings, our town board meetings, you know, they're going to record those. They'll put those on later. Uh, you can watch the game today live. They will also play that on Argus TV later. They're just going to play a, um, a loop of different Argus events, and you'll be able to catch those. Uh, this is all new, so right at the moment, you know, you kind of luck of the draw. Whatever you turn on, on there, that's what you got to watch. So um, eventually they will have a schedule, hopefully, so that you can kind of tell, oh, in a couple hours this will be up. If you would like to watch these games on demand or, you know, say, hey, I just want to watch the girls from, you know, the day they played Northwestern, then you're, that you're going to have to pay for. <coughs> but it's just four ninety nine a month or forty nine ninety nine for the year. But you can always watch Argus TV on that loop, and they will uh, eventually probably pop up on there. But as that's, you know, they'll work the tweaks out, and we'll get a, a little more information as this, you know, comes to pass. So we're all learning all about this. Oh, Morgan's getting called on that one. <laughs> yep. Oh, that Morgan. I mean, her armor's down. It was clean. In a, <laughs> in, in a, in a boys game, they might have let that go. In a college game, that wouldn't have been. In a college game, they would, yeah, that would have been nothing. Um. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Keeper came out. Keeper came out, and uh, Kate Miller, number 21, looks like is the one that walked that ball in, I believe. Is that who you saw? Yep, she stepped right in front of the goalkeeper. She had good positioning, and and here we're going for an instant replay on that. Kate Miller, assisted by number 19, Monica Conwell. Yep. All right, we're 1-1 one, one here with about 23 minutes left. Argus plays the ball on the left-hand side. We got a foot race. They get there at about the same time. A little 50-50 ball. Oh, okay. You know, and I watch that clock, and I watch so much World Cup this summer, you know, where the clock counts up, and now I look at it, and I've got to remember that we're counting down. <laughs> Ooh. Well, sometimes you're in the right place at the right time. That might have been the right place at the wrong time for her back, but... <laughs> oh. Nice hustle by Allen to try and get there. We have an offsides call. Argus needs to take this uh, offsides opportunity to get their uh, the ball, ball the played forward and then get their press going again. Yeah, um, you know, at the beginning of the game, we were doing a great job of keeping it on our half, the other half of the field, but we're, I don't know if we're losing intensity or something. Yeah, we've lost that press a little bit. We need to try to I dial that thought. back up.
Hello? Somebody's phone's ringing. Oh, wait, that's mine. <laughs> Somebody want a shout out, maybe? Oh, it's my sister. If you're watching, hi, Carrie. Okay, Ariana Allen and Lauren McLaughlin. <laughs> nope. I bet Parker Boffman and uh, and Lauren McLaughlin back in for the Dragons. Isaac screwed me up there. I was going to say, I Allen's already over here. Miller gives it back to Dunlap. And Zom decides she's just going to take it. She gets by one defender. Uh, and the foul on Northwestern is going to be a dragon ball. Hopefully we can get a big foot. Ball played through to the sidelines and out of bounds. A little bit too much curve on that one. Mm -hmm. In for the Tigers, number 25, Ashlyn Johnson. And in for the Dragons. Ashlyn Johnson back in for the Tigers. Number 19, Lizzie Edmonds. And Lizzie Edmonds is back in for the Dragons. Coach is rotating them around a little bit, giving them a rest. Ooh. Little hip bump there on the freshman. Good ball up, but no one was pushed up far enough. My niece always liked to say she loved to stay up by that last defender. I guess that could be cherry picking, but That's smart soccer. Mm -hmm. Put it whatever works. Put them under pressure. Pull it back, smart Nana. Oh, Nana, she thought. Yep, Nana thought Peyton Betts was going to be back there. Betts is going to play the ball up to Vanderwill. Or the other team. Oh, good hustle out of Maddie. <coughs> oh. Trying to play the ball in the corner. Good hustle by Northwestern's defense. She is on sides. And a shot to the keeper. Not much to deal with there. Shot on goal by number 25. No, oh, that was a great punt. Nice punt. Ball towards the corner. Emma Dunlap's going to get over there. Kind of run that girl out of bounds. We'll take that. Got some subs. We've got Shella Allmeyer going in. And Sydney Shepard back in for the Dragons. And Avery Ruse back in for the and Tigers. In for the Dragons, number five, Shella Almeyer. Nice interception there by Edmonds. Lost it. Over Northwestern playing to the corner. Ball out of bounds. Coach Joe's helping out over there. <laughs> Save the ball girls from running. Yeah. Got some of our junior high players out there helping with ball girl tonight. Ball played back to the keeper. Looks like we're going to try to switch fields. Didn't quite get it where I think she wanted it. Oh, that scared me for a second. Especially if she was out a little bit and played it over her head. That, that was a good idea. Another punt to midfield. There you go, Lauren. Use your body. Very strong play by Lauren. Mm-hmm. She got kind of bumped down around here and, you know, being a freshman. and I think she weighs about 90 pounds dripping wet, so. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been caught off guard the first couple of times. And it, yeah. And it's like, oh, that's how we're playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how this is going to go. Looks like they're going to sub the thrower. The yep, we got Madison Baxter back in. Both teams using their subs quite a bit, trying to keep the girls fresh. 
Ooh. We have a collision and dangerous. No, we're calling no? a foul. Really? If it wasn't a foul the first time, I'm not sure how the second part was a foul, but okay. Me I don't have the whistle. Yeah. No, Looks like Argus is going to hold at the top of the box. Ball shot, cleaned up easily by the keeper. Oh, great pun out of Alyssa Poizel. Oh, get up there. Argus has got to get that press organized again. It's Morgan Dunlap giving chase, kicking the ball out of bounds. Not a bad idea out of bets there. Get the ball out of bounds, get it out of play, regroup. Got about 15 and a half minutes left here in the first half. Ball played across. Oh. And a goal kick. All right, we need a big kick out of this one. Kate Miller back in for the Tigers. Hannah Trump back in for the Dragons. Ariana Allen's going to take a break. Okay, Argus, we're going to up the side. We're going to play to the flag. Boffman's taking chase on that one. Oh, puts her under pressure. Wins it. Gets the cross off but to the defender. They're going to blow the whistle in the second because she's still down. Yep. And we have an injury. I think she took a knee to the thigh. I think we got us a Charlie horse. Oh, yeah. We talked earlier today the humidity is down last week when they played and over the weekend and stuff. There were so many um, just Charlie horses because they can – I don't know if they didn't drink enough water. They weren't used to playing, but yeah. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. The girls are going to get a water break. Yeah. yeah. Drinking directly from the jug. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention that, but they are. <laughs> Apparently, uh, uh, the, the water bottles didn't make it out today. I'm not sure. I, yeah. Coach, Coach Ty was helping him out with that. That gave me chuckle. Just a little chuckle. Yep. <laughs> looks like the injured player's up. Walking. She's walking, yeah. Well, looks like she's walking fine. Miss Popular getting lots of phone I calls. I know. Hello? We'll pass that one off. That's the kid. <laughs> one of the boys. And I believe they are going to do a drop ball. Yep. Th that's a rule change for this year. Drop ball on injuries. Uh, Joe was telling me, though, that there was no – limit in the rules on the number of people you could put on the drop ball. So he was saying if you wanted, you could put your whole team up there. Go back to the... <coughs> nice the pressure by Trump. The kindergarten rec days and have a full-on bumblebees oh. come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, McLaughlin almost had it. Yeah, we've got some real good pressure there. Oh, there you go. Shall I run through it? Oh, oh she comes away with it. You know, Shella's freshman year, she unfortunately got a knee injury or, yeah, a knee injury her first game. So she was out that whole season. She did play last year. She's fun to watch. Her brother graduated last year. There you go, Lauren. Yeah, I saw a little bit of Timmy on that last play. Yeah. <laughs> Great hustle. Turns the corner. Oh, that's got to be a foul. She extended on that one. 
Good. We're going to have a free kick for dr the Dragons. Well, yeah, she lowered her shoulder and extended on that. You're going to get the call in the open field like that every time. Let's see what, what ours can do with this opportunity here. Vanderwill hits a cross. Cleaned up by the defense. But possession went back easily by Argus. They're going to play it back to the back line. Looks like we're going to work the ball across here. Try to regroup. Ball played forward. Trump wins it. We got another arm extension against Northwestern. About the same spot as the last one. We're going to have a, mm -hmm. we're have a different kicker this time. Good luck. Morgan kick this one. Let's see if she can get it over that line and have it kind of fold in for one of her players to run around mm -hmm. on. Yep, he's going to move her back just a bit. <laughs> Crossing the ground. Oh, smart. Oh, great ball. Oh. Keeper just saves it. Man, great job by the keeper. Just fingertips on that one. I'm going to say offsides. Nope. Corner kick. Corner okay, kick. it went out. Corner kick. Man, that one would have been cool for an instant replay. That would have been, yeah. We can't do it except for right after. Is that how it works? Okay. It goes back 12 seconds. It goes back 12 seconds. Okay. I didn't think about it till after. That's my bad. Yeah, that, that would have been that was that an was, exciting one. That was pretty cool. Yep, she threw her hands up and got it with her fingertips, just enough to push it to the bar. Gee, but great job by that keeper. Kick by Vanderwill here. Dangerous ball. Oh, Argus gets a bit on it, but so does Northwestern. Yep. <coughs> it's all right. Right back to Betts. He's going to shove, push it back up there. Boffman. Ball played to the corner for Argus. She tries to Jeez. turn the corner. She gets <laughs> taken out. Northwestern yeah, she missed. Yeah. She missed the ball. Just, just play the ball. That's uh, three now on 12, according yep. to my stat man, Andy. <laughs> Lauren's got a big foot. A little bit, a little too steep on that. Um, Ooh, she got too much mustard on that. <laughs> decently placed ball. Yeah. If she'd have brought the height down or took yeah. a little off of it. Dropped it right there in the, what's that word you said, scrum? Dropped it right there in the scrum. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, their keeper struggles to get that oh. goal kick out. Parker Boffman was in good position on that one because she, she came. steps in, tries to turn, intercepted, played down the line. That was one thing Oak Hill did today. They kept playing those short goal kicks, and we finally caught on, and we were waiting for him. <laughs> yep. Make him kick that longer ball. Let's say Ali Zom and Nope, Emma Dunlap, yep, and Ali Zom. <coughs> Ooh, uh oh. Oh. A little bit of a flop there. That looked like ball to me. And I, w I would like to see that in instant replay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was, uh, that was quite a little well, shove there. That was McLaughlin again. She got. Sydney Shepard. Pushing it up corner. to Boffman. Boffman's all Anna by herself Trump. right now. Yeah, we go, need girls, to go. go. <laughs> Somebody's got to help her out. Yeah, fall back. Where's? All right, Hannah's in there now. We can get a 45. Or a corner. Or a corner kick. She was looking I for I really, her. I'm not sure. Corner now, to me, Bill, right. I'm not sure why the midfield wasn't pushed up a little bit farther. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. 
they were Enter back Northwest pretty deep defending on that one. We got Emma Dunlap and Ali Zahn back in. Giving Boffman a break. I didn't even see who else went out. And Boffman probably needs it after that long corner run. Yeah. You know what? If you can keep fresh legs up there, we're gonna. It's not gonna hurt us. Oh, good Beautiful ball. ball, dangerous. To the six, we're gonna have another one. All right. All right, if I was Lizzie Edmonds, I would head back to yeah. the same spot. This time she'll get more on it. Yeah. <laughs> you never guess right. We tried to explain that to our junior high girls. Why do you move to different positions on the <laughs> in the box? Well, because you never know where the ball's going to go. It'd be beautiful if you could place it every time. A little short. A little short on that one. Dunlap's going to fight for it. Forces the mistake out of bounds. And we're going to get the ball back. Yeah, the girls have looked the strongest when they when they get that high press going. Mm -hmm. And keep it going. Lizzie Edmond steps forward. Oh, Ooh, good big shot. We are <laughs> over. over the bar. All right, we got about seven minutes left. A little under. Lauren McLaughlin with the ball. Hmm. Throw to Trump. Jeez. Trump's fighting for it. Uh, oh, two-handed two -handed shove. Two-handed push. <laughs> yeah. It's called. Dennis was right there. He got it right. And the ball should actually be up farther. Yep, about maybe five yards forward. Yeah, I was going to say. He's rolling it forward for him. There yep. we go. All right, let's see if we can get us another cross here. There nice it is. Ball. Beautiful ball. Oh, gosh. That was <gasps> Emma Dunlap. On Emma, Emma. Dangerous play oh, yeah. in the box. Oh, what's the must have called a foul on that. Well, now, okay. I thought that would have been a dangerous play. Where did, oh. Okay, well, Maddie's going to play it wide there to McLaughlin. McLaughlin's fast. Great run. Can she get the corner turned? Nope. Defender steps in front. Keep the pressure on her. Keep her down there. Make the mistake. Ooh. Throw in. Yeah, That's all right. Ball. Throw in right there is good. Let's get it and turn it back around. Keep the pressure up. Oh, nice try, Hannah. Don't let him out. And force the mistake. Oh, first touch, first touch. Maddie stays with it. Yep, we're going to get a foul. A little bit too strong. Great play out of there. Not sure Maddie looked up when she passed that. She kind of knew where Lauren was. She knew where she was. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she knew their defender mm, was there. there. She was off. I was going to say, I think she was offsides. They do have to wait until she plays it. Fans are yelling, but, I mean, she's got to play the ball. Maddie's a little afraid, I think, to touch her. <laughs> yeah. Morgan's not. She'll go in and get that ball. Tap it to Maddie. We're going to foul Northwestern. Oh, okay. Well, quick, quick play here. <laughs> Maddie just needs to be a little quicker. I'm not picking on her. She's my niece. Pressure. Force that ball out of bounds. Quick yep. throw. Quick play in. Oh, Trump's going to head over there. Oh, 
That girl had no clue Trump was there if she could have kept it in. Marcus just needs to keep this pressure till the uh, whistle blows for half. Yeah. Got a little over three minutes left. We got Ariana Allen back in. See if they can't sneak one in here. And uh, it's definitely it's definitely almost impossible for the other team to score if they can't get the ball near half. That's so. right. <laughs> Soccer's a giant game of keep away. You can't give them the ball. If they don't get the ball, they're not going to score. And let me tell you how great it is that RTC TV4 brings these games, you know, especially in the wintertime with basketball. Um, grandparents go to Florida, and they can watch their kid, grandkids play basketball, you know, if they're not in town or if they want to watch it later. Um, just a great, great service for our town. We appreciate them. And you, Phil. Wake up, Phil. Are you awake? <laughs> Phil's awake. Phil's had a long day. Phil is ready. He's he wants another goal here. He wants to share the instant replay again. Well, we got I about, agree. We, we need got, we got about a hundred yards to go before we want to see another goal though. Yes, exactly. We're on the wrong end of the field. Nice head nice ball. Nice little skip head yeah. ball. Yeah. Trump it's has not it. often you know, not often can girl oh nice idea. She knew where McLaughlin was. Good hustle by Vanderweel. Steps right in front. There you go. McLaughlin Ball played to the it. corner. She's got it. Now Maddie needs to follow that unless she's hurt. Oh. Early cross into Lizzie. Trying Maddie to should it. be supporting her. I don't know if she's – well, she is. Okay. A little pass to herself there. Oh, good. Oh. Great ball into Trump. She's alone. The yep. shot. She was off sides. Oh. Slightly off sides on that one. <laughs> I'm sure that's on Coach Joe's notes to talk about at halftime. Ooh, great head ball. Played up to Trump. Oh, ball to the corner. Ball. Can we get a cross? I like that. And we got help in the middle. Oh, she got a little bit more on that. Northwestern just trying to survive the half. Oh, great step by Maddie. 18 seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, Last seven, 10 seconds here. Six, They're just going to let it play five, out. All right, right halftime here at Eugene Snyder Field. We are tied. Argus 1, Northwestern 1. We are going to uh, commercial. We've got a commercial for you, and then we are going to go to just a shot of the field, and we'll have some silence. we got about a 10-minute halftime, so we'll see you back here in 10. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs>
Now you are. Oh, welcome back, everybody. Looks like we're getting ready to kick off here. We have the uh, stats from the first half. All Andy's right. Read them for you. Hello, everyone. Uh, glad to be here. Finally made it back after a uh, game up there in Ancilla College. So we're going to go with the unofficial halftime stats. Let's see here. Four Northwestern, two shots on goal, seven fouls, and three offsides. For the Dragons, I think it was about, what, three shots on goal? Uh, uh, I would say four. They have four shots on goal, I think. As you remember, they're unofficial. They're Five fouls and two offsides and four corner kicks. So uh, Dragons uh, had a little more opportunities. They just w did not uh, finish quite the way they wanted to. Um so we're uh, we're getting ready to start the second half. Argus will be playing from the north to the south. Northwestern will be going from the south to the north. Plays the ball back and then wide and hits it, chips up, and it's going to be out of bounds. I hope to see the girls uh, keep that press going they had going in the first half. When that press was going, it was working for them. Oh, it's definitely uh, causing the, the quick, uh, quick plays and then some mistakes were happening for the Dragons and they were taking advantage of it to a point, but they need to capitalize with a goal on that. So Northwestern settled down and have kind of battled back and tied it up at one, and then it's been just back and forth a little bit ever since with more pressure going for the Dragons. Shepard has it. Drops it. Hampton goes wide. Zom's on the far side here. Comes across. Ball's loose. Northwestern has it. Cuts across, and it's stolen by Zom. Yep. yep. Waited to see if there was <coughs> any uh, advantage, and then it went back. Not a hard foul, just a bit of a heel clip, but definitely caused a disadvantage to Argus. Vanderwill puts it in, it's blocked. Vanderwill's struggling. <laughs> All right. Marcus throw down the sideline. Trump has it, and it rolls out of bounds. Split, moves, puts it forward. Trump keeps it in. Goes down the line, fakes. Oh, what a move. Gets back into the box, drops it at a 45, and it's broke up. Shepard with the cross into the center. Down lap, dispossessed. Boffman, square. Vanderwill with the shot, and it curls wide. And she is hurting. Yeah, I think that hamstring is bothering her. Starting yeah. to bother her quite a bit. Coach Joe. Looks like he's getting a sub ready. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, we're going to have a substitution here. Emma Dunlap <laughs> coming in. Stepsister to Vanderwill. So looking to put some pressure. Here's the kick, and it's not very strong. And – Intercepted by Argus. Dunlap goes. and Oh, ooh. that's got to be a foul. No. <laughs> no, he lets it go. And now it's – how's that a goal kick? <laughs> no know. foul and a goal kick? Wowzers. I thought she lowered her shoulder. Yeah. Well, I, even if it wasn't a foul, she kicked it and it went straight off of deflection from the Northwestern. But center didn't see it that way and – we play on. Now the Dragons need to pack this in. The ball doesn't get out very far. Boffman goes to it. Unfortunately, it doesn't go where she needs it. Here comes Edmonds, steals it. And she's tripped. And there's the foul. And this is a great striking distance. Number 18. See if she can put it in. And it's over.
Well, opportunity came and went with that. Played down, out of bounds, throw in for the Dragons. Northwestern with a bit of pressure. And that's a great play. And there's some good defense by the Dragons. Allison's on there to break it up. We have an injury. I well, we got a player down, and now she's back up. <laughs> Didn't see what happened. No. Nope. She is coming out, though. Well, this, by the sounds of it, the team's got some issues with some injuries, and they're not doing real well at the moment. And the center is talking with the AR. And not sure what he sold, told him. Throw in. Have another throw in. And that's a great throw. And it's going to be broke up by the Dragons. Turned away. Very smart. Betts puts it out wide. Throw in. And now the Dragons can reset. Ball's played back with that throw in. Creating a little space. A little hand fighting. Yep. And Dunlap has the arm a little too high. <laughs> Well, they were both fighting, but uh, <coughs> she got the better of it. I think that's yep. why they call one against her. Yeah, she had her arm up just a touch higher. Oh, and it's off the face. And that's a good defensive wall. That's what you have to do. Dunlap keeps her arm down that time. Great work from Zom. Here comes Edmonds. Played. Northwestern. Back in the middle. Betts breaks it up. Plays it forward, and Trump just misses. Trump hustles back. Bodies are flying, and that's a good ball forward. 25 from goes in. Shot's blocked, and it's going to be a corner kick for Northwestern. Northwestern corner. Warren hesitated there a bit, but then she did step in and clean it up. All right. Kate Miller for the kick. Puts it in. It's blocked. Hampton takes it out wide and throw in. Throws it in. Zoms, or Edmonds on her back with the pressure. And that's a good turn back away. And Edmonds gets a touch on it. It goes wide. Can she save it? She does. And here comes a cross. And Hampton heads it back. And it's out of bounds for corner kick. Northwestern is playing with a bit more aggression in the yes. second half. Marcus mm -hmm. is going to have to find a way to match him. Emma Odell, number one, taking the corner after she sets the ball. Uh, junior puts it in. That's pretty good distance. A little deeper. Ball's played out. Dunlap. Oh, good take from Dunlap. Plays it forward. Ball goes wide. Baxter. Nana. Zom. Ball's loose. Battles. And Northwestern's got it. Shepard plays it wide. Allen turns it. Hooked her foot. Northwestern foul. Luckily the AR saw it. Yep. <coughs> well, 
Let's see if we can go diagonal. Stay on side. And it's down the line way too direct. Easy cleanup from the keeper. She's got a decent punt. That one's a little short. And Dunlap with the push, but she's playing the advantage. That's a good fair play there. Yeah, it looks like she looks like she kind of stumbled over herself on that one. Yeah. Plays it down the line, steps back and gets it. Northwestern has possession. And pass. Broke up, hits it forward. Allison Zom's on her. Turns. Zom um, gets it, plays it up, and Ariana Allen's by herself. She's got Boffman in the middle. Allen touches forward. And dribbles out of bounds. It's Argus' throw in. Wait a sec, she kicked it right out of bounds. Um. Okay, she dribbled it around her and then put it out of bounds, and she picked it up and threw it in. Ball's played in. Doesn't matter. Here's a good chance. It's going to run out of bounds. The center is going to have to be in a little quicker position for these. In for the Dragons, <coughs> number six, Lauren McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Plays it wide. <laughs> Drops it back. Turns. Puts it square and it's broke up. And that's a good ball forward. Allen with a good touch forward. Oh, oh that should shove. be a card. You <laughs> there it is. I playable. figured. Not even going after the ball. Number 13. Yep. Emma Dunlap. Or nope, sorry. On their team, Maddie, Madison Baxter. Broke up the play. And that's you know what? That's a good foul. That prevents that attack. Yeah. We see it all the time in the uh Professional game, it's just a smart foul. Just uh, that's a good card that you have to get once in a while to prevent that forward momentum. You just can't do it so obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no lap. Oh. Yeah, there's kind of an art to getting in the way. Yeah, there's an art to slowing them down, and uh, that wasn't it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Barkus in, Allen out. All right. Number one, Odell to take the kick, goal kick. And it's not too high. Dunlap comes away with it. There's a shot, and that's going to be over. I like her taking that shot. Yeah, though. there's nothing wrong with that. Take a, Just take it a little bit off and lean over a little bit more. Settled, put forward, kicked back in the air. Barkus turns one. Odell breaks it up. Barkus runs through, can't get to it. The two girls run into each other, and here comes Hannah Trump with a breakaway. Hannah Trump, and she gets clipped at the end to where she couldn't get much on it. She kicked the other girl's foot, I think. Yeah, she didn't have the option for the pass on yep. that one, I think. She would have been offside. offside yes. She was very smart of her to go ahead and try to take the attempt because 
She would have been off. Quick throw in. Peyton Betts intercepts, passes it back. Throw in again for Northwestern. No, nope. Argus. Oh, must have took a touch. <coughs> Trump with the pressure, forces the mistake. Argus is going to have to get back to that press. Ball's loose. Here comes Emma Dunlap. Ball's back in the middle. Boffman plays it wide. Here's McLaughlin with the shot, and it's skipped and flipped up, and the goalkeeper gets it. Decent effort yep. with the left foot there. Another shot on goal, but it blocked by the player. And chipped wide, and here comes Northwestern. Wanting a through ball. They go down the line. That says it easily. Let's her kick it out. Good battle between those two players. We have a sub. <coughs> Trump out. Allen in. Dropped. Bats with the long pass, and it's out of bounds. Foul on Bats. Free kick. Odell to take it, the junior. Northwestern puts it in the center. Cleared out by Emma Dunlap, the freshman. Nana Allen with a great turn, gives it over to Shepard. Shepard's got some time, and she goes. Battles down the line, plays it forward, and it's out of bounds. It's going to be touched. So it's a dragon throw in, and it's thrown in quickly. Drop back, and unfortunately to Northwestern. And she's offsides. Flag's got to come. He didn't come. She was two steps over. Great defensive play by Lauren Hampton. Great hustle back, Lauren. Turned off the ball. And now Zom's going to apply pressure on there. Ball's played back and forth. The old give and go worked well. And a nice little move. Here's the available shot. And straight to the keeper. Saved by Poizel. Yeah, she, that, she was, that a, was two body lengths. Yeah, she was a step and a half off, but that's all right. He was didn't didn't see it, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's being AR is a tough thing to do. You got to Allen. Got to pay attention to your feet. You got to pay attention to the person passing the ball. And you got to pay attention to the person making the run. Out of bounds. Going to be the Dragons throw in, and it's a quick throw. Allen's got a little bit of time. Odell's going to beat her there. Ball's loose. She now it comes it. away with it. She gets it in the middle. Two of the <laughs> Northwestern girls run into each other, and it's going to be a dragon throw in. I thought there could have been a foul on that play myself. Well, it's all right. Boffman gets it in. Emma Dunlap tries to square, and she does. Barkas turns it. Shot, and not enough on it. And she's on the ground, and saved by the <laughs> goalkeeper. Hits it wide. That's a good target play out right out to number 25. Dunlap, can she intercept it? No, she can't, but she breaks up the play anyways. Tries the through ball. Stopped by Betts. Needs to go wider. And there's a good ball forward, but Betts is going to take care of it. Hits it off of Northwestern, dragon throw in. Smart play. Yep. An unfortunate touch didn't go the way they wanted. Throw in for Northwestern substitutions. In for Northwestern, number five, Avery Ruse. And in for the Dragons, number 20, Madeline Vanderweel.
deployed forward. Out of bounds. Dragon throw in. Shepard. Dispossessed. Battles back. Gets it. Drops it. Hampton plays it forward. Parker gets it. Boffman plays it up and just miss hits it. Good idea. Ariana Al comes back and gets it. Now she's running through. Odell over there. No, that's not Odell. Number Markley. 26. Markley's been giving them fits on that side. She's done very well for Northwestern. Ball's played forward. Poisel. And it's played out. Zom. They got kind of caught in no man's land, the defender and the goalkeeper on that. Dunlap to tries to go through, through, and Zom plays it diagonal, and that's a great ball, and Ariana has a run on it. Allen goes to a good touch forward. Ball is going to come across the middle, and it does. Boffman turns and misses. And here comes Dunlap with the ball from the central center of the field again. Ariana Allen keeps it in, and ball goes off of Northwestern. <laughs> Looked like she tried to make her. I didn't know she was trying to make her, trying to play it off of her. Out of bounds. Here comes some subs. Boffman out. And number nine. We're going to have a discussion here with the AR. Shepard comes out. What, what is it? Rosales for 33. They didn't have it on the roster. It's probably JV or something for okay. 23. Okay. 23 is 33. There you go. Thank you. <coughs> All right. We got a little some name straighten up. Straighten out for the other team. Ball's played forward. Lauren McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Outruns her to the corner. She's got some wheels. She goes around her. And there it is. The great defensive play. But gets the corner kick. Number 23. 24, Sarah Smith comes across and saves it for the cross, but Vanderbilt's going to take the corner. What a run from Lauren. It's in the middle. Missed. Ball's played out, and here comes Northwestern. And Lauren battles back and slows down the play. Give and go by Northwestern. Cuts in. Heavy touch. Zom. Heavy touch again. And Glothen puts it over. It's in the middle. Oh, great shield. Good shield. Vanderwill steps through and can't get to it. Foot race to the corner. And Zom's on the wrong side of her. Gets back in and now shields it. Here's the go. Good containment. Keeps the body between the ball and the goal and recovers it. Plays it off of him and it's a drag and throw in. <coughs> One thing for sure, it's been a real battle. Great throw in. Here comes Barkus. Barkus looks, stumbles. All she needed to do is slip it through to Trump. I think she was trying to make a move there and just came off of her toe, just caught it a little bit. Artist Barkus. Throw. And Trump turns. Oh, oh. Vanderwill threw over the head of Barkus last time. She could have done the same for Trump there and ran on to goal. Way off sides. Not the player who received it. She would have went in the middle. Definitely would have been off sides, but they went wide and it rolls out of bounds anyways. McLaughlin out. In comes Emma Dunlap. And for the Dragons, number 13, Emma Dunlap. 
quite a bit of back and forth in the second half. Teams look pretty evenly matched. And they're both getting pretty evenly gassed. <laughs> yes, they are. <coughs> There's a ball played in the middle. Broke up by Zom. Zom looks. Goes wide. Emma Dunlap gets a touch on it. Ball's loose. Turns with it. Gets it. Trumpy goes for it. Gets the move. And it's going to be broke up. Odell plays it out for Northwestern. Bets. Good battle by Vanderwill. Plays it forward. Ariana Allen. Oh, it's a good turn, and there's, there's the foul. The foul. Excellent work. Vanderbilt's going to put it in the middle. I want Emma Dunlap deep going at an angle to the ball. Let's see what they do. Ball's broke up. A little short there. Shots up. Turns their body out of bounds. Corner kick for the Dragons. There we are, 15, just broke to 15 minutes left in the match. Dragons, Tigers tied one, all. Vanderwill. <coughs> Great ball in. Broke up by Western. And Ariana, Al or Ariana Pets gets it, puts it in the middle. Shot from Dunlap, and it's... Oh, right to the keeper, another shot on goal and a save. And here comes a quick distribution. Shot on goal by number 13, Emma Dunlap. And she back heels. Barkas, too late on the pass. Just a little quicker for the Dragons, and they're going to have some opportunities. They're just taking a little too long. Zom with a great steal, and now she's got some room down the line. Puts it in the middle early. Let Barkas. Go. Oh, Trump Barkas was open just past her. Has it. Turns. She turned her back. That's the only reason that that call is made is because when she went in, she turns her back. And when you turn your head and back, you are no longer in control of your body. So, therefore, it's a player control foul, and you're not going after the ball. Now, if Barks would have just one touch – straight over to Trump and or let it run on to Trump. Trump's by herself in front of the goal. Uh, yes, if she had let that go, that would have been a that would have been a goal. Now, Dunlap, who has put it over two couple times already, needs to ease off. Yeah, but you have a I shorter wouldn't. goalkeeper. Nothing hard. I'd Just play it to Trump. Nope, she lost inside position. Vanderwill going to play it right. Right to – oh, it's oh, miss hit. Oh, the left foot. <laughs> so much easier shot to take with the left foot. Well, pretty good work from the Dragons, just unable to take advantage of that one. And when you're swinging with that right foot. Crossed your body like crossed that. Crossed your body, chasing the ball. It's really hard to get a good strike on it. Left foot could have just kind of stuck it out there and it uh, made its way at the goal. Ball's missed. Ball's loose. Ariana Pets goes after it, gets it, maintains possession, and it's out of bounds on the edge. Peyton Betts battles Northwestern. Offsides if it gets to her. Keeper's up. Yep. Keeper has it easily. Oof. 16. A little bit late, late of a slide there. Parker Boffman. I tell you what, number 24, Sarah Smith is a tough defender back there for Northwestern. Dunlap gets the right pass over to Vanderwill. Vanderwill leads it to Nutmeg and doesn't get to Boffman in time. Morgan. There's a, there's a, there's a card. <laughs> That's number 12, I bet. 
That's a red. Straight, straight red. red. I don't know why it's straight red unless she already had a card. I saw it as a grab, but I don't know. Yep. Maybe there was a swing before. I the don't grab. know what happened or why it's a straight red. Northwestern down one man. Now woman. One, one woman. <laughs> well, I don't. I'm not real sure why it was a straight red. It had, it had to be violent conduct to go straight I, red. I don't know. It had to be something. It wasn't a reckless challenge, but there must have been something before that definitely was because he was standing right on it. Vanderwill with a nice hit, and it's off the target. And Ariana Pets goes out. In comes Shepard. So the Dragons have a one-player advantage. Uh, let's see if they can take advantage of it. That's uh, She'd had a few fouls. We talked about it. She had four or five in the first half and was never given a yellow. Well, something was a little different on that one. The center official was right there, and he went straight, straight to red. Now a ball went off her foot, stopped the clock, and it went straight to the face. And she's bleeding. Yeah. I think she's bleeding. Yep. I, she's sitting down. She's uh, she's dazed. You get hit in the nose. She's bleeding. Up. She must be bleeding pretty good because the coach has got her shirt, his shirt off, and is plugging her nose. Get out the ice packs, folks. All right. So uh, we're going to uh, let's take a little break. No. Yeah. Let's take a quick commercial break because it's going to be a minute here. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, we're back. So, number nine, Jonah Easter goes out. She accidentally got a hard line shot to the nose with the soccer ball, and she left the pitch bleeding a little bit. So, uh, hope she's okay. And we're going to be back in the action. There's going to be a drop ball. That's a rough experience. First it thing is. that happens, your eyes just instantly start watering. You can't <coughs> see. Well, and then you start to taste that blood running down the back of your throat. And then they, then with the typical players, they start to panic. And then they're like, oh, I'm bleeding and so on. So the, the drop ball has been played. Dragon comes away with it. The clock's been started. And here comes Nana, Nana Ariana Allen. Battles for it. Keeps it in. And Northwestern has it. All right, Argus has got to use these numbers and really crank up the intensity here. Shepard fakes. Oh, what a move. Puts a square in the middle. And a little communication miss. Trump blocked by Northwestern. Dunlap gets it to her. Vanderwill goes square. Emma Dunlap goes back around. Takes a shot, and it's going to be off frame. Picked up by the keeper again. Headed forward. Gets it back, I mean. Northwestern has it. Plays it forward. Out of bounds. Betts with the throw in. And then it's the Edmonds. Comes back in and out goes Vanderwill. Number six, Lauren McGoughlin. And number 19, Lizzie Edmonds. McLaughlin. Ball. Northwestern has it. Looks. Drives. Drops it. There's a foul. <coughs> I don't know. Ball was 
wasn't moving. Uh, it is what it is. Didn't ask for space. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Coach Joe's moved McLaughlin up top. Edmonds with a nice little trap. Gets it wide. Trump or Shepard turns it. And it's taken away. Ball's played up and out. 7.35 left in the game. One all. Northwestern down to 10. Played wide, and that's a great ball. Johnson. Dunlap plays it up with her left. Boffman goes, doesn't run, veer to it, but there's a miss hit. Boffman running into the two, drops. Dunlap with a harder touch, and it's taken away. And there's a great through ball. And Lauren Hampton's got some wheels. Passes her up and hits it wide. Great defensive play. The ball's still in, though. Zom's going to meet to her at the corner with Johnson. Johnson looks to drop. Uh, and out of bounds. Well, the AR was standing right there. I, I didn't see the touch. But he did. Yep, that's what matters. Played forward. Boffman settles. Goes square and it's blocked. Dunlap. Fakes. Goes around another one. Goes around another one. Looks and gets it down to Boffman. Boffman's going to not be able to get to it. <coughs> Six minutes left. Number 23. We get a chair from the crowd. Dunlap keeps it in, gives it back to other Dunlap. <laughs> and then, oh, nice little nutmeg pass right back from Zom. There it is. Here comes Emma Dunlap. Battles. Takes it away. Great drop ball. And it's near post, always going to be near post. Need to look for the far corner, back corner post. <coughs> Played up and out of bounds for a throw in. Ball's played forward. What a pass. Dun Odell outruns Trump, but Trump's going to recover it. Drops it. Lauren McLaughlin in, and it's saved. Forces the keeper to save. Nice <laughs> near post shot and the diving save, and it's going to be a corner kick. If ours can get something off one of these corners. Oh, and it tails. And it's off the post. <coughs> Going to be dropped back out to her. Takes a time. Crosses it in the middle. Good things Takes happen. It's a header. Oh, and what oh. a goal. What a goal for Parker Boffman with the header. We're going to have a replay on that. Take a look at this. Beautiful. Off the ball. post. Here comes McLaughlin. Takes a touch. Relaxes. And what a header. Fantastic. Man, those are pretty goals. Wow. She was set up and waiting. The ball was played right to her and when she it, buried it. When the ball was played back to Lauren, she took a touch, relaxed, and made a quality cross, not rushing it, just putting it back in the center. Good things happen when it's in front of the goal, and sure enough. All right. Well, you got to give it to Northwestern. They've been battling the entire time. Come back when they were down by one and has been battling ever since. And for the last 10 or 12 minutes, have been down a player and still working hard. 
She's through. I don't know how she was through. I'm standing right here, at, but. <coughs> All right. Good throw. Zom turns it. Plays it out of bounds. And now they get a throw in. Three and a half minutes. A little less than three and a half. All right. Oh, and there's a great tackle. Boffman goes around. Boffman's got her. She's, She's got around. it. She can go to Trump at 45. Odell comes across, and she maintains possession. Strong play. Ball's knocked out of the center. Oh, five stepped in just in time. Yep. Lizzie Edmonds was waiting on that ball. <laughs> and Edmonds steps through, and it's played off of Argus. It should be throwing, you betcha, for Northwestern. Oh, Lizzie Edmonds, uh, she, her eyes were wide oh. open waiting on that ball to come through, and five stepped in just in time. Well, they're saying it's a dragon throwing, but it should be off North, should be Northwestern. It went off of Edmonds. The girl played it off of her, but that's all right. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. We can't do anything about it. There's the throw in. Boffman drops. Caddy corner, dangerous pass. Zom hits it forward. And what Whoa, a save what a by save. Dunlap. And there it is. Quick throw in to Emma Dunlap. Turns. Left-footed shot. And it's saved by the keeper. Another shot on goal by Dunlap. Two minutes. Oh, and it's an unfortunate hit. Two minutes remaining. If she could have uh, played that across to the shooting, and Lizzie Edmonds was open again right yep. at the six. And that's a good ball. Now she's onside. Marcus has to recover. Takes a touch. Zom's between her and the goal. Zom. Good battle. And she takes it away, breaks it loose, gets it back. Johnson turns. Zom making her earn it. She's just getting tired. <coughs> she got frustrated and yep. struck out. I don't know why. That's not at least a yellow. <laughs> that was an elbow thrown. <laughs> Yeah, Ali Zom, that was a tremendous work defensively, and, yeah, that could have been a, a yellow. She That was actually looked worse than what we saw earlier that earned a straight red. Yeah, that was a thrown elbow. Yeah. She missed, but it was a thrown elbow. <laughs> Glothen takes it in. Long hit, skipped. Good. Plays it wide. Emma Dunlap down the line. She needs to just take a touch. Fakes. Using time. Unfortunate her pass was not to the right teammate. Johnson. Oh, and that's a good through ball. But Peyton Betts is going to have time to go wide, and she wide. does. Take it to the corners. Oh, go not off on Not much time that. left. 35 seconds left, and here comes Northwestern. Marcus needs to get this ball and play it up towards the corner. Let the time expire. Shepard lets him go. Throw in for the Dragons. Nope. Another one off the face. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, and it's going to be a good four, battle here. We're going to get ready to take a commercial break one. real quick as the Argus Lady Dragons takes the victory 2-1 over the Northwestern Tigers. We'll be back after this. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> All right, we're back as the Lady Dragons take the win. So here we are with some unofficial stats for Northwestern. One shot on goal. Uh, six <coughs> fouls and two corners. For the Dragons, a much better half with five shots. Four fouls, two corners, and one goal. It was back and forth quite a bit. 
It really was. Um, one red card and a yellow card on Northwestern. Not real sure on the straight red. So, not. I don't know why she got the straight red. We really couldn't see it. So, yeah. A grab's not typically that's, a straight red. That's typically a good yellow, a big yellow, yeah. but not a straight red, unless there was something that we didn't quite see beforehand. But you know what? It's uh, it's all all good here. The Lady Dragons worked through it. They battled through it. It was a very tough, tough match. Um, the difference in that second half was that a relaxed, composed play. Yeah. The freshman, McLaughlin, takes a stop, puts it in. McLaughlin... Nice cross, and then Parker Boffman with the header. Freshman to senior. Yep, and uh, so it's not bad at all for the Dragons. Uh, they needed this win coming off of a tough loss there at Plymouth last week, much like the boys' varsity for Argus coming off a uh, with their big win today. Much uh, well-improved game from uh, what I saw and heard about it, so that was kind of nice with a 4-1 victory. JV had a 4-0 victory. We're going to have a uh, one half of the JV tonight here in a little bit, but uh, we are going to be ending coverage, correct, Phil? Yes. We will be back, uh, Monday for we will be back here on Argus TV Monday for volleyball. So, and the Lady Dragons do play on Monday night, but we're going to cover the girls' volleyball because that was on the schedule and this one for the dragons on monday is a makeup game so you will catch some volleyball action live here from argus tv all right phil what is it rtc4 tv tv4 all right rtc tv4 for andy stone amy stone phil payton and bill mills on color commentary we want to thank you for tuning in and have a good evening. Good night, everybody.